Luke, you've just come off the training pitch, um, your first session back after the weekend. Um, how has the last week so, so been for you? Yeah, you know, the last week's been absolutely mental. You know, on the Thursday, passed my driving test. That's something I've been wanting to do since the day I turned 17, so that was a real buzz. And obviously, signing for Wolves on the Friday, that was a dream come true in a sense to sign for a Premier League club. But then still coming back here on the on the Tuesday, first session back since signing, nothing's changed, you know. I'm still the same Rochdale player. I'm still back here on loan. I'm still the same Luke in the sense, you know. I still see myself wanting to train the hardest I possibly can in every session. You know, just because I've got a Premier League tag in front of my name doesn't make me see myself in any way different. Was that a big part of the transfer you, for you to be able to come back to Rochdale for the rest of the season? Yeah, definitely. You know, with Bry here, I'm getting constant opportunities. You know, I think I, I myself forget that I am still 17. And to be given opportunities in League One, you know, the third tier of English football, to be starting games is something I would never have expected at the start of the season. You know, the opportunities I've had this year, you know, to make my first league start, scored my first goal, you know, played at some prestigious grounds like Old Trafford and St James's Park. You know, I'm so thankful for the coaching staff here and to be able to come, to come back and complete the season here was something that I really wanted to do and I'm glad that, that was able to happen. Is the focus for you then now on the rest of the season here at the Crown Hall Arena? Yeah, definitely. You know, the club that I'm wearing at the, on the front of my shirt at the minute is the Rochdale Badge, so that's the club that I'm going to be putting my 110% in for week in, week out. You know, Whether I'm on the bench, whether I'm starting for the first team, whether I'm starting in a reserves game, you know, that's regardless of who I'm playing for, how long I'm playing for, I still want to just put in all the effort in that I've been doing for the start of the season. I know that in previous interviews you've obviously thanked um, everyone that coached you throughout the academy and you've been there since a young age and um, you now you know, fulfilled that move to a Premier League club but you, you still have Rochdale in your heart. Uh, Rochdale will forever be in my heart, you know, it's the only club I've ever been at prior to Wolves, you know. 8 to 17, that's over half my life I've been wearing a Rochdale badge, like Rochdale will always have a special place in my heart, I'm, I'm sure I'll come back to so many games in the future, you know, however old that will be, I'm sure I'll bring my kids to the to Crown Oil Arena if it's still called that, you know, it's a special, special place for me, I can't thank the people around Rochdale Football Club, right, to the people who scouted me as an 8 year old wearing my glasses, to the 17 year old that's getting on an immense amount of opportunities now. I can't say thank you enough. And just the day after the transfer deadline, the day after the transfer went through, you were back at the Crown Hall Arena watching the lads get the victory against Shrewsbury. Yeah, you know, it was amazing. It was much needed three points and I'm happy for everyone that was involved. But yeah, I went, went and sat in, in the stands for a little bit and I got a round of applause when I walked off and signed a few things. So that was amazing to see, you know, that I'm still seen as the same, same person, you know, it really, means a lot to me, you know, getting recognition from a special, special breed of fans. How is that relationship with the fans then? Because they always, they warm to you since you came on the stage against Berry on your debut and yeah. since then it's sort of been like a mini love affair between you and the supporters. Yeah, you know, the Rochdale fans are amazing, you know, the, the, the impact that they can have on a game, I don't think they actually realise it themselves at times, you know, when you do something and you hear a massive roar erupt from the stands, it just makes you want to do even more. It's like it's hard to explain. The 12th man is is really a thing, but I love the Rochdale fans to pieces. I always will, and I hope they have a special place in my heart. And I hope I have a special place in some of theirs too. And it's Matheson. Can you believe it?